What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over um, ADS Bloom. This is the thing that I discovered that was in Vanguard, and now that Vanguard has been integrated into Warzone, uh, we know that, assumingly, all of the statistics from Vanguard came into Warzone with that, so we assumed there was Bloom. So I went in and I calculated Bloom for every single weapon, um, literally, that came in from Vanguard. I do want to say before I even get into this that no, they didn't add Bloom to the Modern Warfare guns. They didn't add Bloom to the Black Ops Cold War guns. It's only on Vanguard guns. Um, and it does vary based on the different weapons, so we're going to go through all of that. This video took me a ton of time to make, and it was a lot of effort, so please, uh, please help support the channel and drop a like and a comment, uh, as well as subscribe if you want to see more content like this. But let's get into it, and we will talk about uh, ADS Bloom with all of the uh, new Vanguard guns in Warzone. All right, so we're going to go through literally every single gun that came in from Vanguard that's now in the new Warzone Pacific Caldera map. Um, but before we do that, I want to talk about what ADS Bloom is. So effectively, it's like a hip fire cone. So when you're hip firing, the bullet doesn't go directly center of your crosshair. Um, it goes somewhere randomly within a cone. Uh, so that's a certain angle. Um, so what I did for this was I went in and measured um, roughly the size of the maximum uh, displacement from the center where I was aiming with uh, the ADS hip fire cone is what I'm going to call it ADS bloom it acts just like a hip fire cone just while you're ADS so the bullet doesn't go directly on the crosshair um, so what I did I, I measured the distance of all of the weapons and all not all the attachments but a lot of the attachments and then I got that angle so we're gonna go through all of them uh, this was just a little image on the right to try to explain what this means a little bit so I, I fired at the target dead center and then I would measure to the furthest bullet from the center and I was 57 meters away, and I knew how far this was by measuring it. Um, so I'm able to use arc tangent to get the the theta, the angle of that of that hip fire cone. Um, so going through these, we're just going to go one by one. Um, STG 44. I have all the assault rifles first, so I measured 75 pixels, which is 0.25 degrees. This is what it looked like at uh, 57 meters away from the target, aiming dead center. The green dots are um, what the the random displacement looked like. Itro was roughly exactly the same, 73 pixels, very similar uh, size there. The bar was also very similar. Most of the ARs were pretty similar. You will see a few outliers here and there. Um, but they did match this actually very well to Vanguard. So all the information I found from Vanguard uh, were pretty uh, pretty consistent with what they actually are in Warzone. They did a good job porting these guns into, the, into Warzone. Um, NZ again, 73 pixels. They're all about a quarter of a degree. And then the Volk has a lot more. So the Volk had 165 pixels or a little more than half a degree of maximum uh, ADS bloom. Automaton has very, very little. So it's only 20 pixels. So this is basically none. I mean, this was my accuracy with this was probably, I don't know, five to eight pixels. So really, I mean, the, the amount of variance just in my testing here, like I said, it's probably like five or eight pixels. So um, there's not very much at all with the Automaton, just a little bit. AS44 has a lot as well, 105 pixels, uh, 0.35 degrees. M1928, so now we're on to the SMGs. Uh, SMGs are a little bit worse, just like they were in Vanguard. M1928 is 101 pixels at 0.34 degrees. Sten is 56 pixels, pixels at 0.19 degrees. The MP40 had a lot, it was 113 degrees, more than most of the ARs. Uh, the Owen was at 78 pixels, or 0.26 degrees. PPSH was one of the worst, if not the worst, I think it was actually the worst. The Vanguard PPSH has 172 pixels of maximum ADS bloom. So this is over half a degree. Again, you can see how big that spread is at 57 meters. Um, the width of a target is probably 100 and, I don't know, 130, 140 pixels at this distance. Um, probably like just in, just outside the edge of the orange circle is how wide a person would be. So at 57 meters, some of your shots, even if you're dead center with a PPSH, are going to miss if you don't have any accuracy attachments. We'll go over attachments in a second, but I'm just going to run through all these guns one by one. Type 100. Uh, kind of like AR level, 64 pixels, 0.21 degrees. MG42 uh, had a very small amount. It was kind of like the automaton. It's, again, I talked about this in the Vanguard video when I first discovered this and put all the data out for you guys. It's almost like there's like three different categories. There's like a tight one, a, a much wider one, and then like the SMG one is huge. So the AR, ARs are kind of the middle usually, but there's a couple outliers there. SMGs are usually much, uh, much larger in, in radius and uh, angle. EP27 is just like the um, kind of that middle grouping, kind of like the AR, 98 pixels, a little bit more than that. Most of those are around 75, but this one's kind of in between two of those categories. The Bren is super accurate. Um, so the Bren, again, is like the automaton, has basically no 
uh, ADS Bloom, there's a little tiny bit, but just a, a very small amount. Type 11, middle group, 64 pixels, 0.21 degrees. Uh, SVT, so now we are on the Marksman Rifles. Unfortunately, the Marksman Rifles use sniper ammo, so uh, the Gewehr maybe is usable, the SV SVT might be usable, but the G43, which is like a spamming gun, you have to click that thing super fast and shoot it at like 400 RPM um, for it to be effective. You can, literally can't use that in Warzone because it uses sniper ammo. I don't know why they did that. They should be using AR ammo. Uh, they should have just made them tactical rifles and had them use AR ammo just like the uh, tactical rifles from Black Ops Cold War did. Uh, but anyway, SVT has some bloom, 39 pixels. It's a smaller amount, but not uh, not as small as some of the guns, like the Automaton. All three of these were pretty much the same. Gewehr was a little bit less, but I literally just copied and pasted this because it made it a quicker process for me. But it's slightly less than the than the SVT, probably like 35 pixels. Uh, G43, same again. All three of those marksman rifles were roughly the same. So uh, there's quite a bit of variance here, obviously. Uh, you have to look at this individual gun to see which one has the most. Um, I'm planning on integrating all of this into the website eventually. Uh, the recoil generator will have all of this in there for the premium feature, and I might even do a separate plot that will show the bloom itself uh, as a premium feature also. So uh, I'm going to be working on that in the next, I don't know, a couple weeks probably, but I've just got a lot of stuff going on right now, obviously with all these new guns coming out. Uh, like I said, I'm kind of wasting, waiting to test all of the damage values and everything until the first patch comes through, which hopefully will be soon. Uh, in the next few days, I'm hoping, I don't, I don't actually have any idea, but sometime soon they said they were going to patch it. So um, right after that happens, I'll start diving into the stats. I don't expect them to change Bloom too much. If they do, I'll just go test this again. Uh, but yeah, this took all day. So I would really appreciate it if you'd support the, the channel by you know dropping a like and a comment on the video. Um, let's go look at attachments now. So I didn't test all the attachments. What I did was I took the gun that had the worst. So that was PPSH. And then I measured, uh, I think like four or five attachments to see if they were actually working, if they're actually helping with that ADS Bloom. And then if they were, I um, stacked them up and then we get a stacked number with all of them. So PPSH, like I said, is the worst, 172 pixels at over half a degree. And then the silencer, uh, the silencer is listed as helping with accuracy in game. Uh, I found that that reduced the ADS bloom by about 20%. These numbers are not perfect, obviously. I only took about 10 shots and then measured the maximum, so it's never going to be perfect. Um, but the idea is trying to just know if they're helping, know if the attachments are actually working. Uh, and 20% is a reasonably big number, so I do think that this is definitely helping. Uh, the angled grip, this is like the foregrip, underbarrel grip. Uh, it says it helps with the accuracy, and I found a 25% reduction in uh, the ADS bloom. And then the grooved grip, which is a, like a rear grip, um, this helped 38%, so this one was pretty, uh, pretty significant. And then I used the Empress stock. Every one of these guns has a different named stock, but for the, for the PPSH, it's called the Empress stock. found a 20% reduction with that. And then when I combined all these attachments into one, um, it worked out basically exactly how you'd expect. Um, basically, almost all the stats in the game are multiplicative, and that's because they don't want to be able to go like below zero on anything, so it's multiplicative, so it can never go below zero. Um, so the effect becomes less and less and less as you stack things up. So when you combine all of those, you get 66% reduction, and you can see even with all those attachments, the PPSH um, still... If you were aiming dead center on someone's head at 57 meters, you'd probably still hit all headshots. But if you were off a little bit, I mean, this is probably about it's probably about six inches wide. So it's going to make you miss shots for sure. I mean, this is a real effect that's going to make you miss shots at medium to longer ranges. Okay, well, that's all I pretty much wanted to cover in this video. As far as how I actually feel about this and what I actually think about it, like my opinion, um... I don't like that you can't completely remove it. So the fact that we get 10 attachments on the on the Vanguard guns, I think part of the reason they added this negative bloom stat in there was just because they wanted something um, to make it so you couldn't just stack 10 attachments to just make a gun ridiculously good. Basically, there's always some negatives that you have to fight against with attachments. That's the way Modern Warfare was developed. Black Ops Cold War had some attachments that really were just like straight positives, and that was kind of weird, but... Um, it seems like Vanguard's trying to go towards the Modern Warfare strategy of, of balancing attachments. I think that's why they did it, because if you had 10 attachment slots on a Modern Warfare gun or a Black Ops Cold War gun, uh, and you only have a few negative things you need to counter, um, you would be able to make just ridiculous guns. And with Vanguard, you have this extra thing, this bloom statistic that nobody wants, um, that you can kind of counter with those 10 attachments, but I don't like that there's never a way to completely remove it. Um, you saw on the PPSH, even stacking four or five accuracy attachments, uh, you still had some ADS bloom, and it was still relatively significant, even at 50, 55 meters, which, uh, yeah, that's a long range for an SMG, but sometimes you're going to be taking those shots, 
And I, I, I don't know. It's just a frustrating mechanic to me to have the bullet not go directly where you're aimed. Uh, I get it for hip fire, and I understand what they're going for and why they would do it, but I just think that I probably wouldn't have done that if I was a game developer, but obviously I'm not. I'm a true game data developer, but that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. Hope you guys found it really interesting and useful. Like I said, we're going to be bringing all this to the website as soon as possible. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.